Hello everybody and welcome to the second tutorial in the Python CSGO multi-hack series. Um, in this video we are going to be making a, a Golo cheat. Um, so the first thing we are going to do is, last time we used Visual Studio, um, which you can still use, don't worry, if this is still the same process, except I'm going to be using Atom. Um, normally you'd use Atom for Python projects, uh, normally you don't use Visual Studio for Python projects, and also for me it's just easier to use Atom for setting up a whole project in uh, Visual Studio. Anyway, so let's get started. So um, first thing we're going to do is we're make a new file here. Um, so if you're on Atom, if you're using the Atom text editor, it's going to work fine. Just make a new file. If you're on Visual Studio, you're just going to add to the code that we had previously. Um, or you can just make a new one, whatever you want to do. So, um, I'm just going to save this to my desktop, um, and I'm just going to call it uh, glow.py. There you go. And I'm going to import pymem, and we're going to import pymem.process, and then we're going to import our, no, we're not going to do that actually, um, we're going to import keyboard. Um, right now, uh, we have to do our offsets. So there are a few offsets we need to do. Um, so I'm going to be using my own offset dumper. Um, haze dumper works fine. All you have to do is just go to haze dumper. All right, there we go. GitHub. Um, and there you go. So then you'll have your CSGO HPP, and you can just use all those offsets. Um, for me, I'm just going to use my own offset dumper because uh, it's just it's a lot easier. Alright, so uh, once I'm in Counter Strike, I'm just going to open up my dumper here. Uh, it's a desktop, and then my dumper. So, anyway, um, I'm going to be linking a file to this download so you guys can get it for yourself. All you do is double click on this file, press yes, and it will dump all of the uh, offsets here. So, if you just open this one, for example, you can see all the offsets that you have in there. Um, except if you can send it there. But anyway, I just probably got this offset, so I don't care to see this, this game here. Um, and one thing about my offset dumper is I have a .py file, so you can just open that up, or you can really just copy and paste whatever offsets you need. Um, so the first offset we are going to need is going to be uh, entity list, so DW entity list. It's normally uh, one of the first ones here, but all right, just pop that in there. We're also going to need um, DW local player, so just some basic offsets that um, we have most of the time. Um, and now we're going to be doing m underscore i t num, so you can see what uh, team you're on. Uh, and last, uh, actually no, not last. We need uh, dw glow object manager. And then after that, we need m underscore i glow index. And that is our last offset. So we need a total of five offsets. Um, these are the current ones. If they don't work, um, like if you're watching this, like a week or two after this updates or uploads, I don't know when, um, the offsets might be different. But anyway, uh, these are what they are as of um, July 8th, 2020. Anyway, so now we can go into the actual glow function. So we are going to be creating a new function called main. Um, if you're already doing this from a pre previous project, you'll already have this. And we're defining pm, uh, pymem dot pymem csgo.exe. And what this is doing is we're basically just defining what application we're doing. Um, all right, so now we're going to make a client module here. Or not, sorry, not module, variable. So client is equal to pymem dot process dot module underscore from underscore name. And then parentheses pm dot process handle underscore handle um, comma and then quotation marks client dot dll. Now we're just defining our um, dll and then we do an HLP base of dll. Um, so let's say you are doing something that requires ending that dll. All you'd have to do is duplicate this. So you just take this. And then you just replace client with an uh, engine and then change the name. But we're not doing that, so just if, if you don't know like anything about that, just ignore what I just said. Um, but next up, we are going to be actually doing the Google hack. So we're going to do while true to make an infinite loop. And then we're going to be creating a Google manager variable and setting it to pm.read underscore int. 
Um, and we're going to be reading client plus DW below object manager. Um, and next up, we have to do 4i in range 1, 2. Um, do entity equals pm dot read integer client plus dw entity list plus i times 0x10. Um, and now we're going to be doing if entity. So if this is true, then we are going to be doing uh, entity underscore team underscore id, which is a new variable, and then pm dot read underscore int entity entity plus m underscore i to none. Um, this way we can actually get uh, what uh, team number our all the players are on, so we can assign a color value to that. Um, and next up, we're going to be doing entity glow, a new variable, and this is so that we can actually enable the glow. So we're doing pm dot read underscore int entity plus m sorry entity plus m underscore i glow index. All right, and now we're going to be actually going on to our clip. So to color this, it's uh, pretty simple. Um, all we got to do is just do if entity underscore team ID equals equals two. So this is the terrorist team. So the ID, the IDs are two is terrorist and three is counter terrorist. We'll get on to that later. So um, if uh, if you're a terrorist, then we are going to be writing pm dot write float sorry float glow manager plus entity glow sorry I misspelling a lot I know um, entity glow times the x38 times what the heck okay times 0x38 and then plus 0x4 and float 0 and this is our R channel, so we're doing RGBA. Um, so we can just copy this over uh, four times, one, two, three, four, and then just change these values to RGB and then A, or the comment. Um, and now we have to change this value right here. So for R, it's uh, for red, it's 0x4. For green, it is 0x8. For B, it is 0x capital C, and for A, it is 0x10. Um, and for alpha, we'll just set the float to 1, and then whatever color you want the terrorist glow to be. So I'm just going to write terrorist here. Terrorist glow. So I'm going to do red um, just because it looks good, and then we're going to be going on to our team. So all we have to do is just copy this whole thing over and then do uh, elif and then change the two the two to a three. That way it is our uh, counter terrorist team. And then you can just make the color whatever you want. Um, so I'm going to do blue for the counter terrorists. Um, and there's one more thing we have to do um, to actually enable this glow. So this is for both the terrorist uh, bit right here and the counter terrorist. Um, so right now we're going to do pm dot write underscore float. Uh, sorry, integer. We're doing int. Uh, and then glow underscore manager. Go up to the underscore there. Glow manager plus entity glow times 0x38. I don't know why it keeps making this parentheses there whenever I try to do that. Sorry about that. 0x38 um, plus 0x24, and then we are going to be assigning a value of 1 for that. And this is just us enabling uh, the glow. So you can just copy this and put it on under counter terrorist, 
And once we have this, all we have to do is actually um, to run our main here. So one thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to make a kill key just so we can actually you know, start the process. So uh, under here, I'm going to do um, if keyboard. That's why we used uh, our keyboard module up here. So if keyboard dot is underscore press is underscore press um, and the key is the end key uh, then we're going to exit zero and this just cleanly ends our process um, so now if we go under our uh, def main function here we're going to be doing if underscore underscore name underscore underscore Whoops, underscore, underscore name, underscore, underscore, equals, equals, main, underscore, underscore, and basically just put the underscore, two underscores um, to the sides of main and main. And if this happens, then we are going to be calling main. There you go. Uh, so now uh, you can run this with the CMD. So if you go to CMD, CG desktop. Uh, yep, and then we can do Python the load .py. Um But before we run it, we have to actually get into the game on CSGO. So if you don't already have one, load it up, load one up. And once we're in a game, we can actually enable this, and you'll see that we have a glow working. So the terrorists are red, and the counter terrorists are blue. So there you go, there's the uh, glow tutorial for CSGO. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, a new video will be coming out soon. We're going to do shams and trigger bot. And uh, yeah, that's it.